What it is, what it do, what it is, lads and ladettes, and it must be a good day, because this is the third video I'm posting up today. I'm in a good mood, and I'm ready to do a little bit of speaking. I've done a lot of speaking over the last two days compared to what I'm used to, but um, I figured some of you lads and ladettes out there like hearing my lovely voice and enjoy my opinion. Um... In the last two days, I got maybe three or four more subscribers. I really appreciate that. And um, I see that uh, some of you lads and ladettes like my live stream, so I'll be sure to do that more often. And maybe one of these days, I'll get a chance to be used to live streaming, and I'll be ready for you guys to answer, ask me some questions, and be ready to answer them as I play. Um, maybe even play with some of you lads and ladettes. Uh, maybe we'll, 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 see, we'll see what you guys would do in the community. But... Let me get to the topic of the actual video. So, I kind of touched on it in the last video, but today was the Nindies Direct. It was a, a specific Nindies Summer Direct, and I think it was last week we got something that was only over in the EU, on the EU uh, version of uh, Nintendo, because, uh, Nintendo Direct, because I believe it was during Gamescom. And now, but today we got the Nindies, you know, two weeks basically of uh, Nindy Directs. And I'm seeing a lot of people complaining in comment sections to certain pages and even certain videos. And certain YouTubers are making the same video. And it's just, they're saying basically, why is, is the Nintendo Switch, you know, having an indie problem? And personally, I want to say, no, I do not, uh, I do not say that. They... I think they're just fine because, you know, give an opportunity to some of the smaller people, some of the smaller developers. And given the fact that gaming has had a significant evolution since, you know, Super Nintendo and systems like that or what have you, and everything's not side-scrolling and something small, sometimes people don't have these millions of dollar budgets to put out a certain game. And believe it or not, um... Hellblade Center was Rive was technically an indie game before Microsoft purchased the studio. Ninja Theory did that on their own. And that, I mean, it had, albeit a bigger budget than the average indie game, but that was an indie game. And they can't all look like that. They don't all have the budget. Some people might have 500000 Some people might have 700000 uh, And others might have a few million. You understand what I'm saying? So you got to give people a chance because, you know, I, honestly, I want to say Shadow Complex. Right? Back in the Xbox Live Arcade days, I played stuff like Comic Jumper and Shadow Complex, and I hope that these games get ported to the Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch has been a haven for the indie machine. Uh, games that were on other platforms before the Nintendo Switch have sold much, much more on the Nintendo Switch. And I understand some of this might even, if you want to call it that, might even be shovelware because they just seem to be throwing anything on there. But, I mean... The Nintendo Switch is a home console that's portable, albeit, yes, you are giving up some power, but basically anything you even have already played, you kind of want to play again because you don't have to put it down and be like, oh, I can't wait to get home to play this. No, you could be on a tr public transportation, on your lunch break at work, or just you have five, ten minutes to play something. You can play it real quick, pause it, suspend it. And pick it up later. You know, you don't have to forget about it. Albeit, you know, where I find myself... Where I find myself playing at home and then... Oh, man, I can't wait to play this when I get home. And then I'll maybe get stuck at a part that I have to cut it off because I have to, have to go to sleep or I have to go and do adult stuff. Uh, I basically, you know, forget about it. And it's on my mind. And it, it makes it so much easier to stop playing a game. And I just feel like with the Nintendo Switch, you can, it's, it, it, it's small but not really... Uh, system that you can just carry with you anywhere and pick it up real quick and play a little bit and make us a little bit of small progress in said game and you could just you know do that real quick in small chunks and I think that overrides the the uh, home console thing it just by a big blow and I think a lot of these indie games are games that's good to play in small chunks and they sell so well because you'll have more time to play in small chunks if you have a Nintendo Switch with you Say if you like this game, you want to play 10, 15, 20 minutes. Well, with the Nintendo Switch, if you have that much time, it's right there with you. It's a small system. I literally have two pouches, two carrying cases that I could just carry that uh, if I just left the house. And it really wouldn't be an inconvenience. Whereas 
PlayStation 4 and Xbox One isn't portable? I mean, yeah, once again, it's a lot, but some of these are quality games, some of these are games that look similar, but I guess it's just for you to just weed it out. Give the little guy a chance. It's not like a lot of these games are 30 40 50 60 dollars. A lot of these games are thirty dollars and under, and I think that's fair pricing. You know, these are just some people who are trying to get their names out there, and maybe if you help fund their games, you buy their games, they can continue to make these bigger adventures and bigger experiences. But it all depends on the success of these small games that people might consider shovelware or just you know in part of the indie problem. And I don't agree. I understand that's a fair point, but. I feel like uh, gamers as a community, we get along so well. We really look out for each other. I listen to other shows, and I just listen to the comments and questions. And, and, and I feel like the gaming community is a very caring community. Um, albeit, you know, we might have some mishaps like, you know, may their souls rest the shooting in Jacksonville. But, you know, those are rare cases. And I'm sorry, once again, that that came into our field. But we're mostly very caring individuals in the gaming community and I feel like we should at least look for the smaller people smaller persons smaller developers and yeah I don't really have this issue keep bringing it I might not even know what it is but I might discover something that I just absolutely fell in love with Everspace that game is going to be amazing um I didn't think it would look as good as it did on the Nintendo Switch it kind of briefly you know came across my site on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, but I didn't pay much attention to it. But I do like flight simulators, and particularly out of space flight simulators, uh, which is why I also would be, you know, really excited for Starlink. But I am. I'm pretty excited for Starlink. I'm not going to lie. But um, I, you, I get to learn about other stuff. Not everything's going to be high quality. Some, sometimes people just, you know, uh, they need the funding so they can make a better game. Um, there was a specific game on the Nintendo Switch. I forgot what it was. It was it was, it was similar to Zelda, and it was a three female characters, old school Zelda, um, three female characters, and it was only five dollars. I didn't finish it, but I felt good that I got a chance to support a smaller developer. And here we have a sequel of it. And yeah, I, I, I forget the name, but I know that there is a sequel of it. Somebody please let me know in the comments below if you remember the name of the game. And it's a sequel coming because it sold so well. It was on other systems, but then it hit Switch and it sold magnanimously. And they said, hey, let's give them better. And if they keep doing better, then the games will get bigger and grander. And, you know, we'll have more games to come out and with more ambition. And, you know, so I feel like I'm rambling a bit on here. And um, I thank you, lads and ladettes, for watching me and sticking with me for these few videos I've uploaded at this just a day. I thank everyone for tuning into my live stream. Um, I understand that my audio was a little whack, but I'll try to get to working on it. But for the moment, I will only be a chance to work with what I have. So once again, thank you for your patience, lads and ladies. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe. And seriously, share. Please spread the word. Uh, the more follows I get and the more people that like my videos, the more inspired I will be to make content for you. Um, I know I do have a Patreon, but I do want to put out more work. I want to earn it. Even if it's just a dollar a month, it all counts. It could really help for me to recontribute to the channel. And yes, lads and ladettes, once again, like, share, subscribe. I will leave all my social media down below. And please hit that notification bell so you know when I'm posting new content. Lads and ladettes, thank you once again for tuning in. This video is finito.